Hello and welcome to Vlogmas Day 12. Um, today I'm a little bit more festive than usual. I put on a Christmas brooch. This is this little acrylic version of Frosty the Snowman's hat. Do you guys remember that cartoon? I loved that when I was little, so I'm very excited to have this. I found it somewhere on Etsy. If I can remember where, I will link down below. All right, I've got a lot I want to get done today. Um, so my plan is to do advent calendars and then take a break and go and do some work at my job and then come back to you guys. So day 12, this is the Road Trip Yarns Merry Catmas calendar or the cat themed advent calendar. I never remember the exact name. And goodness, the bag, the sticker was a little stronger today than normal. So I ended up destroying the bag. So that's not good. But, oh my goodness, today's kitty's name is Braveheart, and he does little ginger guy. Oh my God. And look at his yarn. It is the sweetest soft tan yellow with white. That is so pretty. So that is that one. And then the Schmerligans. Um, Nutcracker calendar day 12. And the name of this yarn is Chinese tea. Oh, now this finally looks a little different. Look at this. We've got some green in here, some speckled black, some brown. This is gorgeous. I do not know where it's going to fit into our shawl though, since our shawl has a pretty specific color scheme. I did get some work done on the grand opening shawl last night. I was able to finish clue 10 and most of clue 11, but did not actually finish it. Where is the ball of yarn I'm working with? On clue 10, if you remember, we put these stitches on hold, and this was the side I was working on. And now we have picked up stitches on the other side. So clue 10 was this really neat texture. I'm gonna get a little closer so you guys can properly see it. Isn't this an interesting stitch pattern? So you do this like sort of pass slip stitch over um, design after yarn overs, and then you make a big hole by slipping the yarn overs off the needle every other row. And then I am five rows into just another section of garter stitch, which is being done with this colorway. So now I have a little bit of a conundrum because as much as I enjoy the idea of this green, I kind of don't think it is going to go with everything else. So I can either pull colors from previous clues, I'm dropping everything, or I can dig a little bit into my stash and grab yarn that might be a better match for the rest of the shawl. So put this down. Goodness. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure exactly what I'll do. I do love this yarn though. This is really pretty. So I will decide that and be back and show you guys whatever clue 12 is tomorrow. So I'll be back a little bit later and uh, see you guys soon. And we are back with some actual Christmas content today. I'm gonna to be wrapping some of our family presents that we've actually gotten. We still need to go out and get a few more things, but we do still have some stuff that I can wrap and then put under our little tree out in the studio. And um, I also wanted to show you guys. So I've got this new camera and I kind of need a place to put it and its accessories when it's not being used. So I downloaded from allpeoplequilt.com this free pattern for this really cute little quilted camera case. So it's got like this little round flap and then you put a button and buttonhole. And then it's got um, 
like these little oval shaped sides and it gets bound and quilted. And I'm probably going to put a pocket in it to like just make my own little pocket for the inside. So I have a little bit of extra storage, but um, I'm not sure when I'm going to get around to that. But that is the quilted camera case from allpeoplequilt.com and it's a free pattern. So I'll let you guys know when I make it, how it works. But let's get to wrap it. Also, last night we tried watching the French version. It's the new French version of The Three Musketeers, which is actually really amazing. Um, we tried watching it dubbed and Ava Green is in it and she actually does her own dubbing. So that's amazing. But the rest of it, it's kind of stilted sounding and just not the best. So we're watching it in French and reading subtitles. And guys, I need glasses. I have been holding off on admitting it for a very long time, but I can't see a darn thing. Um, and unfortunately, the two months of sporadic French I took on Duolingo isn't really helping. So I do highly re recommend it though. It's been really cool and the costumes are really good. Um, all right, so the first thing I'm wrapping is, oh, by the way, if you are a member of my immediate family, don't watch this vlog. Not that any of them watch my vlogs anyway, but don't start now. So this is a little card I got for my mom. It says peace on earth and it's a little blank card. I've written a little message to her inside. But what's cool about this is this I got from Craft Theory, which is this little local shop that sells um, art supplies and yarn and all these different things from local artists. So this was made by someone in our neighborhood. So I thought that was really cool. And then her actual gift is a bunch of my hand knit little dishcloths. This is made with sugar and cream cotton yarn. There's about six of them in here. And they're just really great to like scrub dishes or wipe down your dishes after you use them. So yeah, so I'm just gonna wrap some gifts. I've got this cute paper, it's Mrs. Claus and Santa. I am by no means the world's best Christmas present wrapper, but I do my best. How far along are you guys in your Christmas shopping? Because we're having a little bit of a hard time. We've gotten a few gifts for like my mom and Rob's family, um, but we do have a couple people left to shop for and we are at a loss what those gifts should be. <laughs> do you guys have people on your shopping list that you're just like, what do you want? And I'm, I'm not a gift card person. Like I don't, I don't enjoy doing that. I, I will do if that's something that I know they'll benefit from and that they really want, but I kind of prefer to get something a little bit more personal when I can. And, uh, but there are some people, man, where it's hard to do that, you know? Um, especially because there comes a time in your life where you're an adult and if you can afford to, you just sort of get your stuff when you want it, don't you? So it's very hard to shop for those people. And unfortunately, pretty much everyone on our list is, is those people or they're kids who are very hard to shop for. Um, my niece, I have no idea what to get her. I feel like every year you kind of like, you know, like last year you figured it out, right? But now it's been a year and they're a year older and they're in the different stuff. So it's harder. <laughs> All right. So now I can get that in the mail. Thankfully, this is the only thing I have to mail and honestly, it probably won't get here 
get there on time because it's got to go all the way to Louisiana. But, you know, we do the best we can. Ugh. And I got to cut a new piece of paper. So I've got a wasted piece of wrapping paper. So sad. I will save this for a small gift. So my mother-in-law crochets and crochets beautifully. So I got her two skeins of yarn from that local place. This is from Jada Wu Designs. And this is a person that's local to um, my area. She actually just opened a yarn store, which I haven't been to yet, but I would like to go. Um, so, whoa. I wish I had a bigger table to do this on, but, and I do. I'm just being lazy because I don't feel like going up to the studio. But yeah, Jada Wu Designs. And then I also added in the Jasmine Scented Eculin. That's from my uh, cat calendar because she can do scent and I can't. I do like Eculin though. I get the um, unscented. And it's really nice. And actually, there's one other one I do use. I think it's the... I want to say they had like a mint or a coconut or a eucalyptus or something I could use, but it's been a while since I bought a scented wool wash. not, like I said, the best wrapper of gifts. And you notice we're not doing boxes for these. Um, I just I tend to keep it simple when I can. Just the boxes that we had, we have perfectly good boxes from Amazon, but the recycling came and uh, so I just chucked a bunch of them into the recycling bin and now I don't have boxes to wrap Christmas presents. <laughs> ah, I've got a lot of foresight. It's definitely not my strength, right? You do what you can. All right, so that's that. Both the moms taken care of. And then I've got actually a second gift for Rob's mom which is this little calendar. And these calendars are ones my husband makes, come in two sizes, and they are his art. So it's a lot of art from his comic book. So I will show you guys the Society Case Files 2024 calendar. Um, so we've got some of the characters from his books. That's from our book, Avalon Nights. Um, let's see, it's a little action scene with two of our characters from, uh, Glamour and Shadows series. It's an urban fantasy series my husband writes and I help write other characters from that. And these are the two main characters from, uh, the urban fantasy series. It's Algier Stanton and Ophelia Dupree and she's a fairy detective and he's an incubus detective and they solve supernatural crime. You can find all this at darkerpast.com if you're ever curious about what we make. There's the fairy again. Um, there's Ophelia and Algie and they're basically in front of a TARDIS pretending to be in Doctor Who because we're Whovians. Um, another one with Ophelia. So yeah, but he makes these calendars. That one's, uh, inspired by Dangerous Liaisons. <laughs> so he makes these characters every year and he just kind of puts his characters into the calendars and, um, 
sometimes has like these kind of little themes with them. Oh, this is from our book, The Cat Who Pawed the Cultist. It's a young adult series and it's got talking cats and witches. It's really cute. It's one of my favorite things we do. Um, more Ophelia. Can you tell we really love Ophelia? She's kind of our flagship character. So yeah, I'm going to wrap both the calendars and then that's going to be it for me for uh, wrapping presents. So I think um, I am going to just go ahead. This is the same calendar, but bigger. I'm just going to wrap those and that'll be it. So I think I'm going to sign out now because after I do this, I've got to go spend like two hours in the sound booth working. So it's a busy work day. I don't have as much time to vlog. Hopefully I can get that uh, little bag cut out and maybe I can show you guys that tomorrow. But thanks for tuning in to day 12. Bye.